celebration time and this week we hit all the high notes. We're talking about the beats of carnival and that's not all. I'm your host Davia Chambers in the village of folklore, myths and superstition with a name left by the French. Our viewers in Tobago said come see us. So this year we're trying to make the rounds. We're in Lake Otto today with a show that also focuses on connections. This is Let's Talk Tobago. Coming up, your safety during Carnival is a top priority for the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Staying hydrated when you play mass is a must, and later, the junior panorama. These and other stories when Let's Talk Tobago continues. The Tobago House of Assembly has a plan, the Comprehensive Economic Development Plan, CEDP, and it is for all of us. Are you ready to benefit from higher levels of development in Tobago and a higher standard of living? We ready! The priority areas are Branding Tobago, clean, green, safe and serene. Business development and entrepreneurship. Are you ready? Human capital development. I'm ready. Social development and resilience. I'm ready. Improved infrastructure and utilities. Enhanced safety and security. I'm ready. Environmental sustainability. Tourism. Are you ready? Marine resources and forestry. Are you ready? Good governance and institutional reform. The CEDP is ready. Join us and get on board. Let's travel the island. Straight back to my land. My land. Even to Thailand. Welcome to the Scarborough Library Facility. Here we utilize the latest technology to bring you library and information services. Once inside, the staff at the information desk will direct you to the relevant department. And now, our CSR Darian will help you through the registration process. Thank you, Dave. Ready to Thank register? Thank you. Good afternoon, yes. Can you see your documents? One completed form, photo identification and utility bill? Yes. Thanks so much. This is your library card. It displays your user ID as well as your barcode. This information is also reflected on the reverse side. If you'd like, you can tear along the perforated line to detach the two pieces. This can be kept in your keychain, the other can be kept in your wallet or your purse. But the Scarborough Library facility is so much more than just physical books. Once registered, you can log on to our website at library.diazthagov. TT. Scroll down to select the NALIS link. Once you are connected to the NALIS website, you can then download the Overdrive app to your Apple or Android devices. Using your personal account, you can borrow ebooks and access online databases. Renewal of physical books can also be done online. The new Scarborough Library facility will revolutionize your library experience where information inspires innovation. We're in Lake Otto and what we see is tradition, culture, a sense of community and really a bond with the earth, all in a dirt oven which is located at the back of the Heritage Bakery. It was built by Mr. Ulrich Grant in 2005. It's connections and celebration this week, and we start with a story from Stephanie Solomon. If you're playing mass or on the streets watching carnival, you don't have to worry, says the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Take a look. Bands like these will take over the streets of Scarborough, Crown Point, and Roxborough on Carnival Monday and Tuesday. This means it won't be business as usual for motorists on these days. Traffic would be prohibited along the following streets. Carrington Street between Garnside Street and Bay Street. Garnside Street from Dial Spring Road to Carrington Street. Wilson Road between Claude Noel Highway and Milford Road. Post Office Street. Orange Hill Road from the junction of Crusoe Bypass to Milford Road. Milford Road between Wilson Road and Orange Hill Road. In Roxborough, vehicular traffic will be allowed to pass but not park from Sid Gray Stadium up to Prince Street, as well as on Police Street. Motorists can use Police Station Street to get onto the Roxborough Bloody Bay Road. Turning to Crown Point, there are restrictions in place for the Crown Point area as well. 
The restrictions are in effect for just one day. Carnival Monday between the hours of 4 a.m. and 11 a.m. Parking is prohibited along the Milford Road between Stobey Local Road, Canaan, and Pigeon Point Road. Vehicles are prohibited from parking along the following roads. Stobey Local Road, Kilgrim Bay, Kilgrim Bay Road, Gaspin, Gaskin Bay Road, Stobey Branch Road, John Gorman Trace, Mount Pleasant Crescent, and Alfred Crescent. But vehicles will be able to park in various car parks in the capital on the days of celebration, and the traveling public is also being considered. Parking is permitted at Republic Bank Car Park on Burning Street and the Old Market Car Park on Pigo Street. Taxis apply to Canaan, Crom Point, Camby, Bethel, Patience Hill, and Signal Hill are relocated to the southern side of the Clonewell Highway between Wilson Road and Montmarie Road facing west. The traffic restrictions from Scarborough are in effect from Saturday, February 6th from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday, February 8th between 4 a.m. and 10 a.m., 12 noon to 12 midnight and 8 a.m. to 12 midnight on February 9th, 2016. Meanwhile, for Roxborough, the restrictions come into effect on Sunday, February 7th from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., on February 8th, 2016 from 4 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. to 12 midnight. I'm Stephanie Solomon for Let's Talk Tobago. This innovation was created in just two days and as they say, if it's nice, you have to do it twice, or in this case, four times. Yes, there are three more small dirt ovens in Lake Ato, also constructed by Mr. Grant. When it's good, chances are you keep shining. The Tobago Soka Monarch was pulsating with seasoned and newer artists competing for the title. Take a look. He's done it again. Jared Balfour gave a stirring performance at the Buku Integrated Facility to repeat as new Tobago Soka Monarch. His big hit, The Baddest, earning the singer 409 points. Balfour's performance and energy was enough to edge Cast and Cupid by two points. Cupid's rendition of Mischief earned him second spot. And with a performance that captivated patrons, Michael Baker's presentation of TNT Carnival got him third place with 401 points. Come on, on and first with we, everybody be happy. Because we're tired waiting. We're tired waiting to jump. Yes, we're tired waiting to jump. Hey, to the winning body band in the this year's local land. It was a keenly contested competition, which was partially sponsored by the Tobago House of Assembly. I'm Kisho Wilson for Let's Talk Tobago. This traditional oven connects the community of Lake Otto. The villagers use it to bake for funerals, wakes and the heritage festival and it can bake a good amount at a time. So have you seen the Carnival Jamboree? It brings Carnival right to you. It's visiting communities across the island, and we've got more in this story. These Jab Jab, Devils, Baby Dolls, and other carnival characters took over the village of Hope recently as the spectacular carnival jamboree rolled into the eastern community. The jamboree is a new initiative from the Division of Community Development and Culture for 2016 
where Carnival is launched through a series of activities held in various communities. The event was held to bring cheer and awareness of the Tobago Carnival experience. And what would carnival be without traditional songs and music backed by the drums? And even with this heavy downpour, the traditional carnival characters, Blue and Black Devils, did not stop entertaining. The Carnival Jamboree has touched Hope, Plymouth, Moriah and Roxborough so far and will end on Carnival Monday afternoon in Scarborough. From the Division of Community Development and Culture, I'm Kimberly Job for Let's Talk Tobago. Corn soup, a banana or chicken roti, what should you eat on Carnival Day? We have eating tips when we return from the break. We'll be right back. Going to Barbados? Why continue to pay high prices when you can get there for only U.S. $231.95, all taxes included? Yes, you heard right. You can now travel to Barbados from Tobago for a mere U.S. $231.95 on Gold's weekly service. So if you're going to Barbados for business, the beach, cropover, or attending university, stop wasting your money on those other high-priced airlines and get there for a fraction of the cost. To book, just log on to www.vogue.com. Google.com.br. Barbados just got closer. Suit Tobago, ready to provide your community with the highest degree of professional services in emergency response. Contact Suit Mariah at 660-0065 or Suit Speyside at 660-6096. Suit 24-hour services, emergencies, medical or other. Search Pro, the new face of emergency management. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Davia Chambers talking about dirt oven cooking in Lake Atul. Look at this. This is how it works. The base of this oven is built from fire blocks to keep in the heat. 35 minutes and your cake or bread is baked. Let's talk now about playing carnival mass. If you're out in that sun, make sure you don't get baked. Omodara Mills tells us about staying healthy during all your fun and not only what to eat and drink, but how. Revelers ensuring they take in all that carnival offers. But even as you play your mass, here are some tips to ensure you stay safe and healthy. Alcohol should not be taken on an empty stomach. The advice? Drink it in moderation, since too much can lead to dehydration, dizziness and headaches. In fact, it's better that you drink more fluids free of sugar throughout the day. Water helps to maintain our body temperature, it helps with our digestion, and it helps um, in terms of electrolytes and the water and fluids, it helps um, to maintain our nerves and functions, all right, and, and prevent things like muscle cramps. Eating properly is another big part of the equation. This ensures you don't get sick. A balanced meal of starches, protein, fruits and vegetables is recommended so that you can keep up. Now for those who don't carry their own food and won't get from the band, pay attention to where and from whom you purchase. Buy from vendors with a current food badge. Ensure that foods are kept at their correct temperatures and are stored in a clean environment. To prevent the incidence of having a foodborne illness, it's important to evaluate the vendor, look at that vendor, make sure they're wearing clean attire, um, you look at the nails, the hair, make sure the hair is covered with a net. It's also advised that you carry hand sanitizers and baby wipes so that you remain germ-free and healthy long after the carnival season. I'm Umadara Mills for Let's Talk Tobago.
Many in Lake Otto have a relationship with the St. Thomas Anglican Church. It's on the Lake Otto Road to Golden Lane and was built in 1911, replacing the former church from 1860. Its pastor is the venerable Philip Isaac. Next, enhancing the development of a tradition and art form. We have a story about a special donation made to two steel band groups. Take a look. From the east straight down to the west, it has been proven that the island of Tobago is laden with talented steel pan players. And with this, the Division of Community Development and Culture, continuing its pan instrumentation grant program, is investing in the pan fraternity and the young people by extension, in ensuring that they are equipped with the essential tools that allow them to thrive. Steel Sensations, who hailed from the village of Speyside, received new instruments from the Secretary recently, allowing them to now be able to accept more members to their already established team. The band, which is the alumni outfit of the Speyside High School Steel Orchestra, boasts of the largest nursery of pan players on the island. And Joshua Jerry, arranger and captain of the band, assured that their additional pans will be well utilized. Meanwhile, C and B Crown Cordons also received new instruments from the division. Captain of the band Lloyd Thornhill expressed his gratitude for the recognition and support being given to the organization and welcomed the assistance given in the development of young people in the area. We are extremely delighted at the fact that because of the efforts made by the division to facilitate our development, we, our organization would have grown uh, tremendously and we are at the point where we can boast of becoming the number one challenge to the other bands. From the Division of Community Development and Culture, I'm Kimberly Job for Let's Talk Tobago. Here's a bit of Lake Otto history. The inscribed brass bell next to the St. Thomas Anglican Church was given by the people of Plymouth in England. Now I'm going to tell you more about the church, but we're keeping you informed for the carnival season. And if you're not taking part in the merriment this year, that's okay. We have news for you too in this next story. When carnival begins, not everyone will be tripping behind a big truck, attending all-inclusive parties, or masquerading in the streets. If that's not you, how about camp? The People's Pentecostal Church in Scarborough is inviting the public to join them. This year the camp is at the Light, um, Light and Life Foundation High School. If they're coming for a good, clean fun um, and fellowship, as the people say, um, it's definitely a good choice to have or to make for this 2016 carnival season. It starts on February 5th and runs until February 9th. The theme for this year's camp is Making the Right Choices. There will also be fun activities for the campers this year. Camp, camp 2016 is all about making choices, making the right choices for yourself and making the right choices that will benefit you as a whole and as a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, this year we have a lot of activities geared for youths. We have men talk, women talk, we also have craft items, we even have a sports day and where they compete with various fun activities and for the Sunday night dinner there is the wacky wear so they get a lot of laughs with that as well. So, But it's basically taking away making the right choices in terms of building yourself and building your personality and your spiritual life. What if you just want to eat, drink, and enjoy the sun, sand, and sea, listening to soca music while relaxing. Take off your shoes and come to Pigeon Point and relax. If you're not into the carnival, you get the delicious lunches, we have cocktails. We have the jet skis, if you don't want to take part in carnival. We have the reef boat tours, we have fishing tournaments, fishing trips, we have the forage hiking. Whatever you choose, there's a host of activities to enjoy for Carnival 2016. I'm Stephanie Solomon for Let's Talk Tobago. Coming up, who won at the Interdepartment competition? We'll tell you when Let's Talk Tobago continues. Stay with us.
Hey, why don't you step into the Scarborough Library facility? It has all the knowledge of our land, people and heritage that you just won't find online. The Scarborough Library facility is now open. Tobago Library Services. Information inspires innovation. Welcome back. I'm Davia Chambers and we're celebrating Lake Atu. I'm here at the St. Thomas Anglican Church. It's one of the oldest bastions of peace and spirituality. It's carnival all around and the divisions know how to have fun too. In this next story, we have the winners from the Interdepartment Personality and Calypso competition. Check it out. They call me the Midnight Robber. I'm here to loot and I'm here to plunder. I, Shaquille Springer, am finally here. And that he surely did. Shaquille Springer, who represented the Division of Health and Social Services, stole the show, beating nine other contestants at the Tobago House of Assembly 2016 Interdepartment Personality Show. In an arena, usually dominated by women in party attire, Mr. Springer proved that he has what it takes to break through the gender barrier too. For his effort, he walked away not only with the title and $8,000, but best talent for this dramatic piece. We have information from various wet men from the East and West Corridor of Tobago that state things are now running smoothly. Yes! Recently, we experienced teeters being dropped at a whopping one and a half centimeters above asphalt. Sir? That is performance. And he was also named the most photogenic contestant. The Division of Education, Youth Affairs and Sports representative, Kelly Ann Nora, took home second position and the best carnival way, with Kenyon Roberts of the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service placing third. Meanwhile, in the Calypso competition, it was a double whammy for the Division of Health and Social Services, as Kerwin Christmas won the contest and $7,000. I am young, I am not that old. They play the play the virus destroy in the world. So we young men out here today, every woman we see have something to say. If them boys and them catch them, your leg exposed. They just want to go and change up their clothes. Abstain, be faithful. The show is a part of the 2016 Carnival celebrations in Tobago, hosted by the Division of Community Development and Culture and the Tobago Festivals Commission. I am Stephanie Salmon for Let's Talk Tobago. More on a community connected by faith, members of the church are involved in the village council and the run of the preschool located downstairs in the orange building right behind me. Our next story has the sweet sounds of the steel pan played by the young and talented. It's highlights from the junior panorama competition. Here's more. Eight junior bands competed on the weekend for the prestigious year's junior panorama title. These youngsters practiced tirelessly for the competition to produce the right sound that would win over the judges. Pan is not just music, it's discipline. It helps to develop the person and everybody who is involved, including the arrangers. Perhaps it's the way they dance or how effortless the performances seem. But preparing for a competition takes dedication and hours of practice. Mr. Gordon says it's important for the next generation to embrace the national instrument. Pan is all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. But Trinidad and Tobago is the capital of Pan. And we must do everything with our power to keep it here and to show the world what Pan can do, what Pan means. Competing this year were Steel Sensation, Patience Hill Government Primary School, Signal Hill Secondary School, Miller Tones, Roxburgh Police Youth Club, Mason Hall High School, The Pride of the North, and Goodwood High School. Signal Hill Secondary School continued their successful run, playing their way to the trophy for the third year running. I'm Stephanie Solomon for Let's Talk Tobago. 
The St. Thomas Church is one of the five congregations of St. David's Parish. It supports the folk culture of Lake Otto and has educated many prominent citizens. We have just one more pan story for you and it's just as sweet, I promise. It's time for the adults to have a turn at the Tobago Panorama Championships. Have a look. Finalists in the 2016 National Panorama are the new winners of this year's THA Pan Champs. RBC Redemption Song Setters got 279 points with their tune, No No We Ain't Going Home. Another Panorama finalist, Petrotin Katz and Jamas, came second with their rendition of I Don't Mind. They got 277 points. In third place with 274 points was NLCB Boconiers with the tune Base on Fire. In the small band category, Tiantec New East Side Dimension placed third with 265 points. Their tune of choice was both of them. Uptown Fascinators paid tribute to a member who's passed away. Newton Sklet James with their tune, This Party Is It. They got second place with 267 points. Our Boys Steel Orchestra copped first place. The judges gave them 270 points for their tune, Gimme More. For the second consecutive year, Metro Stars came first in the single pan band category. Their rendition of Marshall Montano's Like a Boss got them 267 points. This year, the THA Pan Champs took place at the parade grounds of the Dwight York Stadium. I'm Omidara Mills for Let's Talk Tobago. It's time now for you to have your say. So we've talked a good bit about carnival, and it's only right that we have a carnival question for you this week. So we took to the streets to ask you, what changes do you think will improve carnival? Here's what you said. To improve carnival, you can the masses come on early because I find they come on too late. I suggest that we should have more securities and like um more police, more army men out here to um have a safe carnival and a productive carnival. Put Tobago talents and all what they are capable of on a wider scale. More road safety measures around the carnival event. You need to have more like parties and more fets in Tobago. I find they should um, have it village village wise, right? Like how they in Roxbury, you could have it in Rock Moriah, a section in Moriah. Get the village conquer and them organize properly and do, this, do these things. We've come to the end once again. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Let's Talk Tobago. If you have a comment or query about this program, you may email us at the address on your screen. And visit our website, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. From our house to yours, I'm Davia Chambers, along with the Department of Information, Office of the Chief Secretary, Tobago House of Assembly. We wish you a happy and productive week and a safe time during Carnival.